Wow, that uh, that moon moves awful quick, don't it? First time I think I've seen it. <laughs> Maybe that's what happened to that freaking uh, truth stone. It it shot into the moon, and that's why it moves so fast. <laughs> yeah, it's powering yeah. the moon right now with its rocket power. Every time you send a gossip stone up into space, the moon starts moving faster. And once you send all, it's like vroom, 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 vroom. <laughs> life, death, life, death, life, death. <laughs> anyway, intro. I'm Rhino. I am the Scarecrow. And now, the bush. here's what you want to do. Head to that building. Not that one, not that one, not that one. Sorry, I was not, I was looking away from the screen, and I thought there was only one building here. The one over there! I will wear this disguise. Because <laughs> once you get there, you're going to find, like, a bush. Actually, wait, no, you need bugs first. You can get bugs from near the scarecrows. Hey, it's a lot better than having to go back to Kakariko. Fair also, enough. So, yeah, uh, it'll be... It's gonna be near the wall on one side of, of the, uh... Of that house over there. Uh, you gotta break, you gotta, like, slash some bushes. You inst- Oh, wait, will it be one of these? Remember that bush you decided to use as your disguise? Really? Really? Good job. Just walk out and walk back in. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh. <laughs> also, hey, here's the intro cutscene for Lake Hylia. Oh. Oh. Okay. What happened? <laughs> I was actually looking away. What happened? I went to turn around to go right back in, and there was just a wall there. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> Ha-ha! <laughs> oh, okay, so cut the grass that's on the top area near, uh, here. And that's where you'll get your bugs! Supposedly. Ha! Missed. Got him. Alright. Now. Head over- now you're gonna want to head over to the purple roofed building. That's actually the, uh, laboratory, I believe it's called. The lakeside lab. Oh, it's like the scientist in Majora's Mask. In fact, that is the guy who works it. <gasps> now, so you're gonna want to look around for the uh, the patch, like uh, you know, wait until you can find the one where Link will look down on it. No, no, it's the wall that. No, it's this side. It's gonna be on this side. Ah. Press check. You could have just pressed check to make absolute sure, but. I don't think it works unless all three of them go in. Well, now there will be five. Ha -ha! Okay! <laughs> Prove me wrong! <laughs> Alright. Now that you have that... You're, what you want to do... Okay, now don't go inside. Don't go inside. Face the lake. Look over the vast, amazing lake. Go to the smaller of those two islands out there. <laughs> Start swimming. Oh, boy. You can swimming. press B repeatedly to swim faster. I forgot that was a thing. Does that you work when God, running? It never came up! Now, interestingly, you would normally have to, uh, play the sun song here, but it's already night, so... Good. Hopefully there'll I'll get there while it's still night. There'll be a skull tool up against one of the pillars. It's smaller than you think. You're already there. <laughs> that might be the first skull tool you managed to not get hurt by. And now the last thing you're going to need to do is go... Okay, remember that one building. What are you doing? 
Rhino. Remember when before when I was like, go to that building, and you started going towards a building, and I was like, no, not that building. Now go to that building. Because Rhino, are you ready to fish? <gasps> Yes. Okay. Anyway, uh, all you gotta do is while you're in here, catch a fish that weighs more than ten pounds, and you win. And by win, I mean you get a heart piece. That's, that feels like winning. However, it will cost money. Fortunately, you have plenty of money thanks to the frogs. Hello. Well, you want to go fishing for twenty rupees? Oh no, you don't have a rumble pack. The rumble pack, you can feel the vibrations of a fish on your hook. This time, no rumble for you. Okay, listen up. Walk up to the water's edge and press Z to look at a fish. While looking at a fish, you can cast your line with B. Press A to break the line. When the lure drops into the water, you can wiggle it with control stick. If you're a novice, you can also use B. Reel in your lure with A. Hold down A and R to reel it in faster. <coughs> if you feel a hit, press A and down to set the hook. This After is a that, lot of controls. Then with A. Do you understand? What the hell? That was a long list of controls. Let's know and just get it and just read through it again, then I guess. I think I got it. I'm so generous, I'll let you fish for as long as you want. However, you can keep only one fish. The biggest fish ever caught here weighs six pounds. After you cast, you can change your view, but see. Let's fish! Let's fish. Let's stop making overused references. <laughs> Fight the fish! Now, does it matter what they look like? I don't think so. It's basically, you can fish for literally as long as you want. And even after you catch one fish, I think you can keep fishing. So, just, you know, keep going. Just go until you get one that's 10 pounds. Uh, fuck, how do I hook him? <laughs> <laughs> Did you set the hook by pressing A and down? That's what you have to do. When, 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 when he grabs on. you're playing because I hate fishing in video games. Wiggle, 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 yeah. Once you've set the hook, you just kind of hold A or tap it or something, and then if you do R and A, it, it's faster. Hey, what happened? You lost it! What the hell happened? I thought you were just playing with it at the end there. What was I supposed to do? Keep holding A, I think. I never let go. R and A? I was holding how, that. How can we mash all the buttons? I don't know. <laughs> Welcome to Inside the Rock. <laughs> Not getting away from B. Now, what do I do when it's close? B? Okay, I gotta pull back. Well, well, it's about four pounds! <laughs> that looks a lot bigger! I mean, Link is tiny. I guess, yeah. Who am I? I thought you said, who am I? Who am I? What am I fighting for? Wow. What? Well, I got it faster that time, but... How much was it? Three. I'm actually enjoying this, to be honest. It's very calming.
you got the bad fish. Yeah, I wanted one of those bigger ones. I think if you aim for like, actually no, I don't. I don't. You know, I'm gonna see if I can find any like uh, interesting tips here for this. Two pounds. They're getting smaller. I'm a fisher who. I like how it makes me duck and shame. <laughs> <laughs> duck and drown myself. <laughs> Alright, so, just so you know, basically, you're going to be visiting this, uh... Alright. Do you think, for 100%, getting one thing that is literally useless in every single way will never even be mentioned or seen outside this fishing pond... Do you think getting that should be required for 100%? Uh, no. Okay, then. You will only need to catch two fish. Well, you will only need to catch two fish. It's just a matter of when you catch them. One now and one much later. Come on, big fishy. Come on. Grab the damn lure! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking asshole know. fish. He was just following it the whole time. Did you see that? Yeah. But yeah, just, just so you know what I'm referring to. Basically, uh... After you have gotten both things you can from this fishing hole, you can search for a sinking lure, which allows you to catch the Hylian Loach. And it serves no purpose, except giving you 50 rupees. And bragging rights. Oh, I mean, I might do that then. Here's the thing, it's... I mean, I guess you could do it if you want to, but... You can't do it right now, and you can't do it for quite some time. Oh. And you're like any other true Zelda player, by the time you are able to do that, you will rather do the story. Oh, okay. Where'd all those big fish go? Where'd all the fish go, period? There's a little... Yeah, uh, that one looks good. Come on! Grab the damn thing! What the... <sighs> fish are assholes. <laughs> fish are assholes! Let's be honest here, that's why we eat them. And they taste good. They're delicious assholes. <sighs> it's amazing to watch this. <laughs> You just like get, you just swim out to the middle of the water and just start grabbing it with your hands. Just start stabbing the fish. <laughs> Come on. Gotcha, you bitch. Time to pop up. He's struggling hard, apparently. He won't escape. This one is seven pounds! <laughs> so why would I need to catch two fish? Uh, you need to catch one now, and then later on, you can try to catch another one, and that will get you a new reward. But you can't do it right now. Come on. You... What am I doing wrong here? You got him. Oh. This is a real lunker. Let's see. Woo! <laughs> Right, barely, but okay. Do you want to keep yeah, it? I do. Yes. Ugh. 
You chose yes, right? Yes. Go talk to the guy. What do you want? Weigh my fish. fish. Whoa! This fish is huge! It looks like a new record! It weighs at least 10 pounds! Seriously! Yeah, okay, here's your prize! Woo! Oh, Yay. sweet! Yay! Did I just leave? Yeah. Well, actually, speak to him again. I want to quit. Get back when you get older. The fish will be bigger, too. Well, maybe. Hint a tea, hint, hint. But yeah, if you tried to leave before then, you would start leaving with the fishing rod. He'd be like, hey, what are you doing? Dick. <laughs> All right. So now back to Zora's domain. Uh, start heading back, yeah. Yeah, go back to Zora's domain. And when you're back in Zora's domain, um, catch yourself a fish, as in scoop one up in a bottle. Oh, so we are gonna need that now. Yeah. <laughs> it says here, uh, snag a fish from the shallow water with your newly emptied bottle. They're easy to spot and they tend to hang around a circle of stones. Alternatively, you could buy one from the shop for 200 rupees. Or not. <laughs> or not be stupid. I bet I just get a bottle of water. Oh. I don't think you can get water, just straight up water in this. Alright, I All have right. a fish. It looks exactly like a bug. Now remember when uh when King Sora leaped out of the way? Yeah. Yeah. I do. Go ahead and just go back into that area and do stuff. I can go past him now. Oh no, actually, because you left, he reset back to his position. <laughs> that would have been amazing. Alright. This looks promising. Welcome! To other Lake Hylia? Hello! Oh my god, that's terrifying. <laughs> Zora Sound, don't disturb Lord Jabba Jabba, King Zora something. Good lord. Hello! Hi? No, don't be a dick. He doesn't care! Up the nose. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you like bombs? Hey. What, Navi? It seems Princess Rudo somehow got inside Jabu Jabu's belly. Fish. Me hungry. Are you a fish or a hippo? Yes. <laughs> oh, jeez. Nom! Well. Welcome to Inside Jabu Jabu's Belly, the I third think dungeon. I think it's more accurate to say I'm inside his mouth right now. His, he's all belly, man. Yeah. <laughs> What the? What's that spot? Have Navi figure it out. Shabam! If you try to cut it, it will bounce off your blade. Rhino, you don't need to kill it! Rhino! What does it do? <sighs> ah! Right. What does an enemy do in the game Legend of Zelda? Ocarina of Time. The answer is it hurts you. 
bubbles hurt me? Yes. You want to run into it and find out? Well, I can't kill it. Oh. Oh. It hurts you. Something strange is covering the entrance. You must solve the puzzle in this room to make the entrance open. There was a puzzle in this room? <laughs> That's a switch? <laughs> You're in a dude's belly! Why did... Why you don't oh, attack it. I didn't. I'll give you that much. Don't. That a long way down. Don't. <laughs> wow, this is creepy. Hey! Why do you look like a me-aged Zora? You! Who are you? Because that's where she is. Why does she have eyes on the back of her head? Does she? Yeah. I thought that was just part of her fin. Right uh -huh. there. Uh huh. I am Bruto, Princess of the Zoras. Okay. What? Are you saying my father asked you to come here to save me? Yes. I never ask anyone to do such a thing. I didn't say you asked. Letter in a bottle? I have no idea what you're talking about. Uh, okay. My father is worried about me? Yeah. I don't care! Okay. Anyway, I can't go home right now. And you get out of here, understand? Uh. I mean, I guess I could be pooped. She doesn't have a tail. Oh no! The fact that she doesn't have a tail weirds me out. <laughs> hmm. Go after her. In the exact hole? Yes. Okay. Don't do what I did and go down a different hole and then it takes forever. Are you still hanging around here? I told you to go away. Are those both gold sculptures? Yep. You can't all get either of them right now, so just don't worry for now. I'm okay. I've been going inside Lord Jabu Jabu's belly since I was little, but... That... Uh, what? 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 <laughs> Lord Jabu Jabu is very strange today. I don't like that the whole screen is pulsing. <laughs> There are electrified jellyfish in strange holes around. Oh my god. On top of that, my precious stone was... But it's none of your business. Anyway. You, go home now, understand? Exactly how would you expect me to do that, sir? Man. Talk sir. To Talk to her again. You're, you're that worried about me? No, not really. Then I will give you the honor of carrying me. Nah, get in this bottle. <laughs> Not all princesses work that way, Rhino. Damn it, that was so easy, though. <laughs> However, I won't leave until I find the thing I'm looking for. You better believe me. I don't. <sighs> Come on. I don't even know all where right. I'm going. Jabba Jabba's belly is, for me, it is basically the dungeon that I never what remember the fuck? thinking about. Room, by the way, you might want to leave. Why? Why was that platform wiggling like jello? Huh. Did I bone myself by jumping down? Uh, you can throw her. Oh, throw her at one of the jellyfish. You missed. But you can kill them, I think, by throwing her at them. Cause I, I, I noticed you uh you killed one when you when you got hurt and dropped her on it. Excellent. She is useful. Get up there. 
I never even knew that was a thing. I don't. I think you have to jump up from elsewhere. Oh yeah, you. No, no, no. Use that wall to climb up, and then just drop down the same hole again. Uh... This is every time I play a Zelda game. There's always one dungeon that, no matter how many times I play the game, I never remember a thing about, and I never enjoy it. This is that dungeon. How inconsiderate! How could you leave me behind? If you're a man, act like one. Take responsibility. Oh boy. <laughs> I like how when Link talks to her, he has the bitch please uh, pose. <laughs> It was worth a shot. Run through with her. Save time. Alright, now, she can weigh down switches. Is that another gold skull, Chilla? Yes. There are four gold skulls total in this area, as in, in this dungeon. Uh, one of them is, you know, up there, and you saw the other two. Uh, you did this in the wrong order, but... Yeah, you did this in the wrong order. It'll be fine, now. Oh, I can kill them! I think you just have to do, uh... Oh, also, yeah, look at these things. I think it just... It, it will only be a jump and slash or something. Where the hell did Rudo go? I think you drowned her. I drowned Azora. Yeah. Go all the way up. Getting stupid. <laughs> yeah, get used to this being a not good dungeon. Oh, hot. Oh, hot. I was expecting out. Oh, fairy. Where the hell did it go? Got it. You managed to get it before it freaking went inside you. It will revive you the moment you run out of life energy. Those are not switches. <laughs> you need Rudo. Do I? I mean, I got past that on my own. You need Rudo. Uh. In fact, this puzzle was not necessarily that you had to weigh down the switch with her. You do that on blue switches. The puzzle was you had to throw her before you push the switch to get up yourself. Oh. This revolves around a lot of using her to weigh down uh, blue switches to open doors, but you also just need to get her to the end. Or not actually the end, you need to get her to like the halfway point of the dungeon. And then you won't have to worry about her again. Oh. Okay. She'll die. What? Not really. Are you spoiling things, sir? Am I, or am I lying? Or am I lying about lying? Are you? I do have a plus six to deception on my D&D &E sheet. What's your insight? I don't know, to be honest. Also, you can throw her at the switch. It's just a fun thing to do. <laughs> if, you can, if, you, if you, like, yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Hit that with your head! Yeah, in case you can't tell, uh... I wouldn't say Rudo is a universally hated character. She is not one that a lot of people are a fan of. If you just wait around, this guy will die. I think. Unless you actually do have to kill him, but I think a platform crushes him. Just kill him, I think. Oh, no, there you go. Oh, no, he's still alive. Also, there's a thing down there, so go through that. 
is she gonna stay here? Yeah, at the ver I, I'm pretty sure at the very least she'll just like stand up and be like, "How would you could you leave me?" Blah 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 blah. I'm pretty sure uh, if you do something that causes her to despawn, she goes back. Hang on, I will look up and see if this is worth it. Uh, he sells Deku Nuts. <sighs> what? So. Alright, where are we going? Up. In fact, you're going to end up... She's freaking out. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome huh. to this room. It's like, can I just throw her out his mouth? No. If you try to leave with her, she'll be like, I'm not leaving without my stone. Uh. Also, I just want to tell you one thing, and it will save you. It will, it will save you, okay? Okay. When you see a cardboard box that you can pick up, <gasps> that means you're supposed to put it on a switch. Okay. At some point. Because they're literally the only purpose they serve is they are pots, but you could place them down. It's getting trippy in here. So take off all your clothes? This switch, it doesn't look like you could press it down with your weight alone, Rhino. Fortunately, you have Rudo. Yes, I was about to say. Here's the thing, most people wouldn't be bringing Rudo. They'd be like, oh, I can't, you bitch. Or they would just forget about her. Get ready for a fight. Stay over there. Hey, what's your recording time at? Uh. Just pause. Oh, uh, two and a half minutes. All right, we can finish this room. And then we'll probably end the episode after you get your reward from this. Yep. I just want to make sure it hadn't stopped at some point. No, not yet. It lets me know when it does. It's kind yeah, of bullshit. Like round. I need how the recording room has like a. I'm, gr I'm glad the limit is two hours. Oh, shit, no. <laughs> well then. Also, move the mouse when you get a chance. <laughs> it's, just hide it's just hiding out in your room, though. All right, what we got? Well, it looks important. Nope, no, it isn't. It's a big chest. Oh, yes, it is important. What we got? Welcome to Australia! Ooh. This is the boomerang. This is basically a slingshot, except instead of damaging, it stuns enemies, and it brings things to you. Neat. Come on, Rudo. You're getting in the box. <laughs> and we'll deal with her in the next episode. Yep. So I'm Rhino. This is Ruto. I'm Ruto. This is Rhino. We will see you next time. I will fart on your head. Whoosh. Boom, boom.